So round two of the USL playoffs did not disappoint. That is what we're going to talk about in this video. But before we get into it, welcome everyone to the USL Insight, where we talk about news happening around the USL. And if you're a fan, please give this video a like because it really helps with the algorithm. Now with that, why don't we get into it? And like I said, guys, the USL playoffs round two did not disappoint in any way. Every single game that was going on was entertaining. Every single game had something that stood out and that is what the playoffs are about. The excitement, the 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 challenges, the competition, that is what it's all about. The underdog winning and we have to talk about the first game being Louisville versus Rhode Island. Guys, I'll be honest, I thought that was the end of Rhode Island. I thought they were not going to be able to beat one of the greatest teams in the history of the USL Championship because that's what Louisville looked like to me. Louisville looked like they were going to win it all. This was theirs to lose. And Rhode Island, credit to them what they were able to accomplish. Danny Cruz said it. We were outplayed one by one. It is absolutely incredible what Rhode Island is doing. This is their first year competing in the USL Championship and they made it this far. They're in the Eastern Conference Finals. That doesn't happen with any expansion team that is so unlikely it is unlikely for them to come in and then to beat louisville city to beat one of the giants of this league they won the the players shield and yeah the final score was three to zero and guys i'm just amazed at, at this game the, the way that rhode island is playing right now the confidence that they have it is it is incredible and um they're the team that i want to win right now just because you can see how hungry they are how how, how they want this to be their year i mean they're gonna get a brand new stadium and imagine if they were able to already lift the trophy as a brand new team in a league that'd be perfect and i know that's happening as well in usl league one with spokane velocity they're in the final as well and they're a brand new team in the usl league one but guys i thought rhode island fc was going to be out i i thought they were not going to make the playoffs at all with the odds of it being a brand new team like i said um but they proved me wrong and, and it's it's great louisville city was outplayed outperformed and now they have to wait till next year to see what happens so yeah moving on we also had new mexico united now new mexico united they were doing really well in the season as well and Las Vegas Lights, brand new owner, brings in a, a bunch of high quality players as well. And they're able to beat New Mexico United. And they're playing in New Mexico United. And so, you know, the, the fans are going to go crazy there. And they were. They were absolutely incredible. As a goalkeeper, to be behind those fans, that must be very stressful. Because I know they're going to be in your ear. They're going to be pounding. They're going to be loud. And it's going to be a tough place to play at. But Las Vegas gets it done in the 86th minute. The game's pretty much over. We think You think you're going to go to um, extra time. Which it seems like almost every game was going into that. But yeah, Las Vegas, I mean, shout out to them as well, guys. Because this is a brand new project underneath Jose Batista. And he has done an incredible job. You can tell that he's taken this seriously and yeah you see it on the field you see it i mean their their goalkeeper going back to the last time last weekend's game over sacramento republic where he shot where he blocked three penalty kicks that right there is incredible as well um he was doing some great stops during this game as well versus new mexico the whole team collectively is able to go into the western conference final so a huge shout out to them guys las vegas this is an exciting time for them as well because it's the first time that in franchise history they make it to the usl playoffs and they do it with a brand new owner like i said so yeah these playoffs have not been a letdown they have not been a letdown in another game is charleston battery versus tampa bay rowdies now this game was going to be good as well because these two teams i feel like they're well-known teams in the usl championship they're very competitive teams in the usl championship and so you knew that this game was going to be great and it did not disappoint in any way tampa bay rowdies are up ahead 1-0 in the first half second half charleston battery comes back to score two and we have to talk about aaron malloy's beautiful absolutely beautiful freak kick guys that goal was absolutely beautiful there's nothing like that i mean he's so far out gets the free kick hits the top post and in i mean jordan far i, I don't even know i mean just that thing was stunning, guys. That was absolutely beautiful in the 83rd minute to pretty much win the game. Two to one is the final score. I mean, Jordan Farr, I don't even know what he's thinking during that because I know you wish that doesn't happen. I know as a goalkeeper, you're like, what just happened? To I mean, he even looks around like he's in disbelief because that thing was absolutely stunning. You don't get tired about talking to that goal. The Charleston Battery are showing that thing on Twitter or on x they're showing that thing over and over again because why not you have to that thing was absolutely stunning i don't even i know i'm repeating it but man that thing man it was so it was it was a perfect ending to a perfect game unfortunately for tampa bay they're out charleston battery move on that was easily easily the greatest goal of the playoffs if not the whole season 2024 of the usl and they move on to the next round and we'll see if we get some beautiful goals like that going into the next game and then 
And last, we had Colorado Springs versus Orange County SC. And Orange County SC is with interim head coach Danny Stone. And so they shouldn't even be in the playoffs. Um, Orange County, they shouldn't even be this far. Danny Stone and the whole team, they get them, they go into the playoffs. Unfortunately, they lose to Colorado Springs at home, two to one. And uh, this game in the beginning was like, what is happening? There's a miscommunication with Colorado Springs and Orange County, they score. It was like the fourth minute, I think. And then shortly after, I think like the 10th minute, Colorado Springs, they score. So the game is tied one to one. And I thought that this game was going to go crazy because it started off really, in, really wild. The whole mistake that happened with Colorado and then for Colorado to bounce back, I thought this game was going to have a lot of goals, a lot of like crazy things that happened. Uh, but no, it actually goes into extra time. And an extra time is when Colorado wins and the final score is two to one, like I said. And Colorado, I feel like is playing very well as well. I mean, especially at home, they have a beautiful stadium. Um, The fans are always there as well. Well, and so Colorado, I think, is a team that hasn't got a lot of credit this year or hasn't been really talked about, I guess. But yeah, they're here for a reason. And you can tell. So now they're going to have a, a tough competition with Las Vegas Lights. But that is a game that I know as well is not going to disappoint because these two teams, in my opinion, are matched up um, fairly evenly. They're both hungry for it. So yeah, the final four are left. We have Colorado, Las Vegas, and Charleston Battery, Rhode Island FC. Now the last four games, guys, it is comes down to the wire. You want to win their conference. You want to lift up that trophy. You ultimately want to win the USL Championship trophy. Beat crown 2024 champs. And I feel that each team on here, I know it sounds a little cliche, but they deserve to be here. They have fought for it. And each game, you can tell. And so it's exciting to see. I cannot wait. I hope that the next round is as exciting as and entertaining as this last round was, guys. Guys, because I don't know. Every, I'm not a gambling guy, but every single team that I would have picked is out essentially but that's what happens in the playoffs it's like a whole new tournament it's like a whole new set of teams anything can happen i didn't think louisville and new mexico would be out these were the two major top guys and they're both done so anything is possible when it comes down to the playoffs and so yeah let me know what you guys think is going to happen let me know who you were shocked about who you think is going to win i would love to see what you guys have to say but thank you so much for tuning in and with that i will see you all on the next one